Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmel Farm Health Sciences Library. My name is Paul Lovett, and I'm one of the reference librarians. Today we will be talking about APA citations for legal resources. Let's get started. The APA style follows modified Blue Book guidelines for legal references. Blue Book is the most widely used US legal citation style and is taught in our GW Law School to help law students cite cases and the legal code. Chapter 11 of the APA publication manual gives examples of legal citations. It is important to remember that APA style modifies the Blue Book rules. It does not follow them verbatim. The main modification to know is APA in-text legal citations are not numbered Neither are they required to be footnotes, as Blue Book requires for articles in law review journals. Later we shall see examples of how APA handles case law and statutory law. The GW Burns Law Library has a guide on the Blue Book. As with the APA publication manual, the full text of the Blue Book is not online, but the guide does link to useful resources for learning, including the Blue Book Uncovered, which is a free online book for first-year law students introducing the fundamentals of Blue Book citation rules. The Nexus Uni database has an instant Blue Book citation feature. You can search for case law and each record has an export citation button. When you click you can select Blue Book as one of the styles and copy and paste the citation into a text editor such as Notepad. Using a bibliographic citation manager like RefWorks would apply the citation st style selected to the whole document. You can't tell RefWorks to automatically apply more than one citation style, for example both APA and Blue Book. It has to be one or the other, so I recommend keeping it to APA 7th edition. Therefore, if you want to include a legal citation in Blue Book style into an APA formatted bibliography, you will need to edit the Blue Book legal citation from Nexus Uni and copy and paste it from your text editor into your bibliography and in text, as on this example. So, the reason for needing to manually edit the Blue Book citation is because auto generated Blue Book citations in Nexus Uni or RefWorks are not strictly formatted in Blue Book style. You can see from the Nexus Uni citation most of the elements of a proper Blue Book citation are there, but you need to edit out the extra text. So how do you know what it should look like? In APA style, case law is formatted as plaintiff versus defendant and the year the case was decided. So in this case, that is Rescuecom Corporation versus Google Inc. in 2009. Note the use of abbreviations. Blue Book is very particular about their rules on abbreviations, which is why you need to consult a manual to understand which ones to use. Here are the elements of the Blue Book citation broken down. So you have the names of the parties in the case, then the volume number of the reporter containing the published opinion, then the Blue Book abbreviation for the reporter, then the first page of the opinion in the reporter, then any additional jurisdictional identification, and finally the year the case was decided. Statutory law is formatted using the following formats. The US Code Federal Law is cited in text and in the bibliography as the name of the act where it exists, else you leave it blank, the title number, the abbreviated name of the code, section symbol and section number. For legislation that has not passed Congress, you cite the bill name and number as it was introduced into either the House of Representatives or the Senate. Bear in mind, most legislation is referred to a reviewing committee at an earlier stage where it is either dropped or passed forward. Only a small portion moves forward to full consideration and passes Congress to be signed by the President and enacted into law. Legislation that has passed Congress, also known as the Session Laws, usually has a name of the bill. So your in-text citations are the name of the law, if that is how it is commonly known. Our first example is to a section of the US Code that has no bill name associated with it. So you just give the title and section numbers. 
Our second example is the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, which was enacted into the US Code in one chapter, Chapter 126 of Title 42, which deals with public health. Our third example is when a bill is enacted into more than one title number or chapter in the US Code, then you should include the public law number. For example, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act of 2010 includes the public law number 111-148 and was published in Volume 124 of the United States Statutes at Large, beginning on page 119 in the year 2010. Once you know the public law number for a piece of enacted federal legislation, you can consult the table of classifications for public laws to identify what title, chapter or section numbers of the US Code were amended to incorporate the new wording. These are published on the website uscode.house.gov. State law differs depending on the jurisdiction, but the general citation rules are the abbreviated name of the code, section symbol, section number, year of the publication in which the enacted code was reported. States have different ways of citing their own laws, so to determine how you should format your citation, you should look up the jurisdiction in the blue book table T1 and review how they organize their citations. Our example number one is for Virginia, who organized their statutes by title. A full citation to section 32 of title 42 in the 2018 edition of the Code of Virginia annotated would be this. Our example number two is for New York which organizes its code by subject matter. A full citation to section 2807 of the public health chapter of the New York Code in the 2015 edition of McKinney's Consolidated Laws of New York Annotated would be this. Our third example is for California, which also organizes its statutes by subject matter. So a full citation to section 100 of California's probate code in the 2008 edition of West's Annotated California Codes would be this. The Blue Book is very complicated, so if you have specific questions about Blue Book citation formatting, I recommend you contact the reference staff at the Burns Law Library. If you have more APA questions, you can contact us in the Himmel Farm Library. Ask at the Burns Law Library to consult the print copy of the Blue Book 21st edition, and also the book Understanding and Mastering the Blue Book, which the law librarians regard as a great resource for people attempting legal citation that are not familiar with the Blue Book. You can consult the print edition of the APA Publication Manual in the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. Thank you for taking the time to listen to APA citations for legal resources. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library here, where you can also find the associated slides. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session, or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact us at himmelfarb at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.